Heumann. We're riding high today on At Your Leisure. I'm Stephen Heumann. Follow me into the Dixie National Forest outside Cedar City, Utah, as we hit the snow in every way conceivable. We're skiing, snowmobiling, even biking through this amazing area and exploring a new trail system that will make you want to hit the mountain. From there, Chad Booth cooks his food while riding through one of the most impressive snowmobile areas in the West. He'll give you directions and a recipe. Finally, Reese Stein tries to hook the smallest catch in the lake. Own the outdoors now with At Your Leisure. Well, if orange is the new black, then fat is the new orange. Welcome to At Your Leisure, everybody. I'm Stephen Human. Right now, we are in the Dixie National Forest just outside of Cedar City, and we are at an area called Deer Hollow. This is a place that has been set apart for non-motorized recreation, and we're gonna show it off to you today. And the non-motorized use we've chosen is fat tire biking. This is a new sport that's just come out in the last couple of years. We're gonna show it off to you as well as this area. So how about we start by taking a look at this new sport? The Fat Bike Trail up here on the Dixie National is absolutely going to be one of the best in the state. We have eight miles right now. We're brand new. We're in its first stage. We're up here grooming every week. We've got uh, all sorts of different kind of terrain. We've got flat tracks, a lot of stuff up in the trees. This area is absolutely beautiful. I've been fat tire biking out of Park City before and the, the area is nice. But up here, you're, you've got this great elevation in these trees. It is gorgeous up here to ride. I've been skiing all my life, and I've been biking all my life, but not in the winter. Now I can do anything I want to do, anytime, and biking in the winter up here is just a blast. We come up here, we wear about what we do when we ski because we use a lot of energy up, and it's just fun to see what you can do. It's so new, you just don't know what you can get away with. This is one of the original bikes that started the fat tire game. It's got almost five inch tight wide tires and wider rims. This is the old school. This is built to last. Cedar Mountain is my backyard. This is where I come to have fun. The Dixie National, the people that we have working in the forest now are just awesome. We have more and more things to do, a variety. And it's just a lot of fun. There's just miles of smiles out here. Fat tire biking is a lot of fun and it allows you to take your sport into a new environment. You know, a lot of the time when we have a summer sport, we think that once the snow falls, we have to put it all away. Well, this allows you to take your mountain bike and go into an entirely new place like here at Deer Hollow. Well, we're going to show you a little bit more about this area coming up a little bit later in the show. Right now, though, I want to hit some more of this trail on this fat tire bike and let's head off to this week's travel adventure. We're staying around this area up on the Cedar Mountain. Chad Booth is hitting some snowmobile territory. Thanks, Steve. Chad Booth here. The Bryan Head area is known across the West as a premier skiing destination. But if all you know about the mountaintops outside Cedar City is the Black Diamond Slopes, you're missing out on some incredible adventures. It's always best to have a lot of options open when you're in the outdoors. And up here, there are more than you could possibly imagine. Today, I'm going in search of a few of them by snowmobile. Climbing on a sled and setting out from Bryant Head, it quickly becomes apparent that you have a lot of directions you can choose from. Much of the landscape is open to cross-country winter travel, and so you can pick your own route and meander as much as you want. You can take a more direct route through by following the trail system laid out by Utah State Parks, which will lead you on a journey that you might not stumble onto otherwise. We have over 100 miles of groomed snowmobile trails up on Cedar Mountain here. Uh, you can take off from Bryan Head right over to Duck Creek for the day and, and check out all of our trails. Nice groomed trails, off trail, terrific powder. It's been a great powder year for us and the whole mountain's pretty much open to, to snowmobiling off trail, on trail, just days of fun. The snow just keeps coming this year, so terrific snow year. Real soft, fluffy powder. 
and that powder can be found in plentiful drifts from one side of the mountain to the other. The quality is obvious as we weave through the trees, but a trip out of Brian Head isn't just about the snow. Now that may sound strange from someone on the back of a snowmobile, but hear me out. As you follow the groomed trail system, which is actually a snow-covered highway, number 148 to be exact, you enter the Cedar Breaks National Monument, a three-mile-long amphitheater of red rock and sandstone that drops over 2,000 feet to the valley below. Normally, snowmobiling in a national monument would be a non-starter, but here, so long as you remain on the designated trails, you can explore this staggeringly beautiful landscape. The trails take you practically right to the edge of the monument itself where you can gaze out on this pockmarked terrain of orange hoodoos and soft stone spires that have stood the test of time and the elements over the last several thousand years. Getting to this spot is easy as Utah State Parks and Iron County have both tried to make the monument as accessible as possible. There's staging areas over by Brian Head and in and around the community of Brian Head and then there's also a staging area just up Highway 14 where you top off on, on top of the plateau here. Once you've hit Cedar Breaks, the mountain opens up into other incredible views. Some that look down at Cedar City, others that allow you to gaze out at the majesty of Zion National Park. And they're all within just a few miles of each other. That's one of the great things about the Cedar City area as a whole. Whether you're looking for striking overlooks or a day of excitement, nothing is out of reach to you. Cedar City is a great place to base out of. You can go down and play in the desert one day and you can be up playing in the snow the next day. I've seen a lot of folks come in with toy haulers. Uh, they may have it full of uh, ATVs with a bike rack on the back and their fishing poles. Uh, so lots of different activities just right out of Cedar City. I was riding my mountain bike two days ago in the desert and I'm up here today on a snowmobile. It's just a great place to base out of. Plus, you have plenty of comfortable places to stay, both in town and at the different Brian Head Lodges. When it comes to adventure, the more options you have, the more fun you're going to discover. I guess that's why I enjoy this area in winter so much. I'd recommend coming out here in Cedar Mountain, just the, the elevation, this great snow, friendly people, and all the amenities that are around here between Duck Creek and Brian Head and, and Cedar City. Come get some world-class snow. And, of course, I'd bring this up. If you want to eat on the trail, you can do that, too. Today, I brought out one of those muff pots that actually cook food right on the engine of your snowmobile while you ride. So I'll be eating warm and hearty today. And it's another distinct experience you can have on a snowmobile adventure along Cedar Mountain. Well, this is a great way to travel. We will continue with our coverage of the Cedar Mountain or Cedar Breaks uh, trail system for snowmobiles. When we come back, it'll be time for our product review. Mm. Want to win an RV vacation of a lifetime? Well, now you can with Ray City RV. Experience Southern California with your family in the way that you've always dreamed with the Ray City RV vacation. Win a seven-day RV rental, a four-day spot at the Anaheim RV Park, and four park hopper passes for three days of fun at everyone's favorite magic land. Sign up online at raycity.com, and it's all free. The Ray City Anaheim RV vacation. It's time to make your dreams come true. The Utah Farm Bureau has always been there to fight for the needs of its members. With discount programs on items ranging from vehicles and ATVs to health and wellness. The membership fees aren't big, but the results are. We've been around since 1916, and we're not leaving anytime soon. Utah Farm Bureau. We work for those who work to feed the world. You see a snapshot and you wish you could make it real. You glance at a calendar and imagine you could step inside. You see adventure and long to join in. In Kane County, Utah, there's nothing to hold you back. Land, water, air, 
from the Red Rocks to the top of the world. A motorized adventure to the style of the Old West. Experience the true meaning of freedom. Kane County, Utah. Come play in our backyard. Well, it's springtime, and that's the time of RV shows, and that time of year when people start dreaming about vacation season ahead. And so if your dreams include a new horse and carriage for your camping trips, boy, have we got the one for you. This is the Carriage 40RL. It's a line that Ray City has started selling again, and it is one of the most luxurious and high-tech units I have ever seen in all my years of doing reviews. And for those of you who've been watching for a while, I've been doing them a long time. Take a look at the reflection and the gloss in this gel-coated finish. Now, all the graphics are in the gel coat. They are not an, an added on sticker or applique, so they will last as long as the paint finish does. And this looks like a $600 or $700,000 bus. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Now, if you've done any fifth wheel travel, you know, sometimes you take off and you're climbing a grade in particular, or you're, you're hitting some rough road, and the trailer will start to make your truck hop. Well, that's what they've done here with a shock absorber and a suspension air bellow that you can inflate up to 100 pounds. You can take a lot of that up and down slap that you feel in the truck and let the trailer and hitch absorb a lot of it. Of course, this unit has all the things you typically expect to find, lots of storage and things like that. But this is one cool thing before we get inside and talk about the electronics. The trunk. It's got a place in the back where you can actually keep a spare tire and some stuff like that. And this is your living area. It's extra big, and you can't exactly put your finger on it as to why, but not only do they have slides that go out, and they're pretty standard sized, the difference is that carriage uses a seven foot high slide with a flush floor, so there's no step up when you go into the slide out. When the slide unit actually comes in, it pops up and then slides over and into the coach. So it makes for a really stumble-free, spacious living area. So it has an induction stovetop, which means that it uses electrical current to a ferrous-type metal to create the heat. So you take the pan off, you can put your hands back down, it's not hot. Check the carpet, padded carpet. It's really cushy to the toes. Second of all, you have a huge entertainment center. This is like sitting in the front row of the theater. I'd get a neck ache from just watching the movies on this big screen. Fireplace below. And to make your viewing comfort even better, you've got theater chairs over here on this side. So not only are there three of those little electronic management stations around the motorhome, the brain is all right here in this unit. And from here, you can do lots of different things like automatically level the coach and it's basically a one button push and you can just sit here and watch it level. Now up in the master in the front you have a large slide the whole front end of the trailer slides out and you have a shared bathroom with the main salon and the master bedroom and it's got a corner shower in it toilet and sink as you might expect. Now what I really like is what's behind you pocket doors very nice and quiet operating pocket doors and a full cedar lined closet. If you'd like to find out more information about this beautiful trailer, the Carriage 40RL, you can check Ray City's website, raycity.com, go to their YouTube page, you can watch the video, or better yet, just stop by in Roy, Utah and take a tour. See you next time. place that is beyond words. There is nothing to be said, except take your time in Bryce Canyon country. Dominate every trail, conquer any task. You need a machine that does it all. Introducing Polaris General. The General is the most powerful rec utility side-by-side -side ever made. The industry's deepest cargo box lets you haul and dump up to 600 pounds, and the revolutionary cockpit totally refines comfort and protection. Polaris General, ultimate versatility to win every battle.
is a whole world of beauty to discover on the banks of Green River State Park. Rest under a canopy of cottonwood trees or accept the challenge of a nine-hole golf course on the banks of the Green River. The park is a starting point for boaters adventuring through Labyrinth and Stillwater Canyons all the way to the confluence of the mighty Colorado. This section of the river is rated for beginners and intermediate boaters and takes you through beautiful desert and canyon scenery. Annual park events include the 184-mile Friendship Cruise and Melon Days Green River Signature Fall Festival. Our nine-hole golf course is right on the banks of the river and it's only $10 to play around. Green River State Park is located right off of Main Street in Green River on Green River Boulevard. Utah State Park's adventures for everyone. There's a little place on a Utah map where I was raised, where my heart's at, where the sagebrush grows wild and high, and the stars come out at night. In the basin with the youth reservation, skin starvation, that Duchesne County life. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, everybody. We are out here in the Dixie National Forest, and we are at Deer Hollow. This is a great area for all kinds of winter activity. Now, the Deer Hollow area has been segregated, this section of it, for non motorizing, so that's what we're experiencing today. We've been fat tire biking, we're now snowshoeing. We're we'll doing some cross country skiing a little bit later. How about we find out a little bit more about the diversity that is offered in this forest? We're at Deer Hollow Recreation Area, the non-motorized recreation area. Um, we have about 34 miles of groomed trails, which includes eight miles of fat bike trails. We have dog-friendly trails. We have snowshoeing. We have ice fishing. We also have motorized possibilities. So there's lots to do. We've gotten some good responses here from different um, user groups, motorized and non-motorized, that help set up Deer Hollow and, and maintain um, the trails that we've got. We have other areas on the forest as well as Deer Hollow area, but this is the one that's groomed. We really try to pr promote family health out here and, and get people out in the woods and explore what they've got in their own backyard. And this is a perfect family activity Probably in the yeah. afternoon or the morning. You can enjoy a nice hike in, in 50, 60 degree weather. Or you can come up here, Brian Head or up here, and you can go skiing, snowmobiling all on the same day. And um, so it's quite diverse. Everyone needs to be able to have the opportunity to come play, take a snow day on the Dixie, because it's all yours. It's, it's everybody's, everybody's area, and we all need to be able to be out here. You can come up here and take half a day, you can take a couple of hours, take as much time as you need. It, it, that's, how, that's why it's so great, is because it's so close and so accessible. It's quiet, beautiful fresh air, beautiful blue skies, great weather, and it's just so serene to be up here. Motorized, non-motorized, you're going to find it all here outside of Cedar City. So remember, go out and play, take a snow day out on the Dixie National Forest. Well, we got to go up to our trailhead adventure brought to you by Rocky Mountain ATVMC.com. It's a great place where you can go and get all of your gear for your ATVs, motorcycles, dirt bikes, everything. Check them out at Rocky Mountain ATVMC.com. Here's our trailhead. I'm Reese Stein at your leisure at Fish Lake, a place renowned for great big lake trout. But today, we're after fish not quite so big. No, today it's little yellow perch, a fish that's having a big impact on this popular trout lake. The perch in here are stunted, they reproduce very well, and they're affecting the survival and the growth of all the other fish in the lake, besides just the perch themselves. That's true, there's a lot of fish in this lake. What do you like about the perch? Oh, oh. I got him right there. It's fast and furious. There we go, right there, that's how you do it. <laughs> if I can pull him in like that every time, it's gonna be a great day. <laughs> Jason Hardman and John Farrigan of West Valley have joined some 2,000 of their closest friends at the annual Fish Lake Perch Tournament. Ice tents stretch in a seemingly endless semicircle along the shorelines. Power augers roar to life punching hundreds of holes in the foot-thick ice layer coating the 9,000-foot-high lake in Sevier County. 
And soon, perch seemed to be flying up through those holes. Jason Hardman couldn't keep the fish from biting his bait tip jig, even if he wanted to. You're always going to catch fish here every time you come, and usually it's going to be a lot. <laughs> Catching a lot is what this tournament is all about, according to wildlife biologist Richard Hepworth. Last year we harvested 40,000 in one day. <laughs> this year with the number of people we're coming, I'm estimating we're going to be somewhere in that 50 to 60,000 range. Now, does that in itself make a difference? Probably not. But by holding this and talking to people throughout the day, we're encouraging them to harvest all the perch they can every time they come up here. The attraction? Special tags attached to more than a thousand perch, worth $4,000 in prizes. Travis Holder turned in the first tag and was waiting to hear what he had won. That's pretty cool. It's the first tag fish I ever caught. Yeah. yeah. What are you going to win? Hopefully uh, something good like a smoker. And you can still win. Just register at the Lakeside store and redeem any tagged fish for the many remaining prizes. For some, the tournament is just a good excuse to get out of the house and have some fun on the ice. So that's the one you caught, huh? Mm -hmm. Is that the biggest one today? Mm -hmm. But not everyone was catching perch. Mike Hazlitt of Payson landed this nice rainbow on his first ever ice fishing adventure. Beginner's luck, yeah, we'll take it. What do you think about ice fishing? I like it now. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. And Cash Davis of Midvale also came up big. What was it like when you hooked up? Did you give you a good fight? Yeah, it gave me a really good fight. We came down to Fish Lake looking for a yellow perch, but I'll tell you, they'll take one of these any day. What a beautiful rainbow. But it's the perch Alyssa Cam of Eagle Mountain is hooked on. The per perch that I've seen are beautiful colors, good size. I can't wait to eat them. <laughs> That's basically why I'm here, because I want to eat them. And eating yellow perch is a treat, one of the best tasting fish in the state. But you have to like filleting lots of these little devils to get a meal. Dredge the fillets in beaten eggs and coat with your favorite breading, breadcrumbs, cornflakes, cornmeal. Cook three to five minutes in boiling oil and, well, fresh fish just doesn't get any fresher than right out of the lake. Man, that is good. You can't beat that, it was just caught 10 minutes ago. Restein at your leisure at Fish Lake. Yum! Our trailhead segment today is sponsored by Rocky Mountain ATV MC. That's that great place where you can order all kinds of accessories for your ATV or your motorcycles, and they'll ship it right to your door. Just go to the RockyMountainATVMC.com website, and you can take a look at it there. Let's be honest, you don't know much about Beaver County. Well, let me tell you about it. It's the birthplace of outlaw Butch Cassidy and inventor Philo T. Farnsworth. Some of the best skiing in Utah is at Eagle Point. You've got camping, Canyon Breeze Golf Course, Crusher in the Tushers, Beaver Territorial Courthouse, Snowmobiling, Renewable Energy, Pioneer Car Show, Squeaky Cheese, Ghost Town to Explore, Best Water in the Country, Paiute ATV Trails, Old Frisco Kilns, Horse Race, Hunting, Fishing, and it's a good place to live. Beaver County, mountains of fun. I could tell you more, but why don't you come and see it for yourself? There are certain types of people out there who put everything to the test. For them, we built the Can-Am Maverick XDS with the first factory installed turbo. It delivers 121 horsepower, impressive suspension travel, and exclusive Fox shocks. It's engineered to ace any test, including yours. Can-Am, the ride says it all. off-road vehicles is about to be redefined. Introducing the world's first and only pure sport side-by-side, -side, the all-new YXZ1000R from Yamaha. The world of off-road sports side-by-sides has shifted forever. Now, get no interest for six months on a new Yamaha ATV or side-by-side. -side. 
Get your new Yamaha at Stedman's Recreation. Ride hard, play hard. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, everybody. We're out here on the Dixie National Forest at Deer Hollow. Now, as we mentioned earlier, this is a 1,300 acre area that is dedicated to non-motorized recreation. We've been fat tire biking, we've been out here snowshoeing, and now I'm trying my hand at cross-country skiing. This is an amazing place, and it's easy, really easy to get to. Basically, we're just right out of Cedar City on Highway 14. It's just that simple. You come up here, there's a turnoff and a brand new parking lot that they just opened up, all the accommodations you need. They're also gonna be building a bathroom here within the next couple of months, so that in the coming years, you'll have everything you need right here at the trailhead and all of this beauty to access. Well, now we gotta talk about some of our big giveaways. Now this is the last weekend to sign up for our RV vacation to Anaheim, California. Basically Monday is the last day. What this includes is seven days of RV rental from Ray City RV, four days at the Anaheim RV Resort, and Park Harper Passes for four for three days at everybody's favorite place in Southern California. This is a trip that your family is going to love no matter how old they are. So sign up now at AYLTV.com. The winner will be announced on Arrow 103.5 on the radio and then here on the show the following week. So sign up because you can win. Now, starting this week, we also have our next big giveaway. We are giving away a Razor 4 900 here on the show. This is huge. These are some of the best machines on the market and you can win it through At Your Leisure. This is courtesy of Stebbins Recreation in Tooele, Triple S Polaris and Roy, and Weller Recreation in Camas. Now, how you can sign up, it's really easy. You can sign up on our website, just like the RV Vacation, or you can sign up on Facebook this week. Just go become a fan of ours and you can sign up there. You can also sign up at all three of the locations and you can sign up there in person and you will get five extra entries for each one of those. So you can go into Stedman's and get five. You can go into Triple S and get five and you can go into Weller's and get five. So if you're doing the math, that means you can end up with 16 entries if you sign up online and at each of the locations. So you can stack the deck in your favor. Go to AYLTV.com now, sign up for the RV Vacation and for the Razor 4 and you guys can win. These are great prizes, courtesy of Ray City RV, Triple S Polaris, Stedman's, and Weller Recreation. Well, I'm gonna hit the rest of this trail. Why don't we take a look at next week's show? We're finding history and excitement on the next AYL episode as we stop in one small western town and find that just because a place is out of the way doesn't mean it's lacking in adventure or in amazing stories to tell. We'll follow that same theme to Kanab, Utah, as we follow one resident into the hidden wilds of this breathtaking destination. Well, you won't want to miss next week's adventure on At Your Leisure, and you won't want to miss your adventure here in Cedar City. We had such a great time up on the Dixie National Forest. The temperature has been absolutely perfect. While we were up there, you didn't really need coats or anything. It was so great. Right now in Cedar City, it's 56 degrees in the middle of February. This is the perfect time to come down here and enjoy. You can escape the smog down in Las Vegas, the inversion up in Salt Lake, and come here and have an amazing weekend. Well, I'm Stephen Human. Remember, Get out and make your own adventure at your leisure. Unless you're sitting on the couch. <laughs> I screwed that up. What is it again? Hi, I'm Chad Booth from At Your Leisure. I hope you just enjoyed the YouTube video that you just watched. Now, remember, we come up with new videos like this every single week. So you might want to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a single story that we have out. Now, you can also share us with all of your friends on social media. Here's how to do it right here. And that way, they can have fun too. If you want detailed information, we of course have our website, AYLTV.com. And from there, you can find out which television stations we broadcast on. So you never have to spend a day without your fix of family-oriented outdoor recreation adventure. Plus, don't forget, we have really cool contests.